Welcome to Prasco Park, the home of the 35th edition of the Big East Baseball Championship driven by Jeep. The tournament kicks off with the fourth seeded Seton Hall Pirates looking to play the upset card against the top seeded Creighton Blue Jays. Up to 327 has played in all 51 of the Pirates games. There's a bouncer to first. He does his job. This is a tough out for Reagan to get there. Shedler McAvoy out at first. Hunsinger coming around to score. We may see a challenge as well from Seton Hall as the Pirates get on the board from the get-go, and they are pumped. And Upton swinging and driving one deep center. Shedler McAvoy watches it bang off the wall. Rounding third is Collins. He ties the game, and into third with a triple is Parker Upton. The Jays come out swinging. Well, I guess that answers any questions we had about whether or not this would be a hitter-friendly series this weekend. No doubt about it. These guys are coming up swinging and getting some good cuts on the baseball. 2-2. A chopper to short. Grober charges and fires to first, yet Creighton takes the lead. Here's the payoff. Line drive. Fair ball down the line. Santorelli ties the game. Hood is into third. They have trouble with it in the outfield, and Hood scores into third base with a triple is the freshman Steve Grober. Can't get the bunt down, no problem. How about a triple into the corner to score two? And Seton Hall back on top. This ball took a weird hop out and right. Will Robertson, this Creighton defense typically steady, and instead, this ball that just stayed fair gives the Pirates the lead right back. Great piece of hitting. 3-2. He knows he's going to get something a little bit in the zone to hit. Goes into the corner, takes a ricochet. 2-1 to Collins. is smashed through the hole into right. Rounding third and coming home is Wagner. He's in. We're tied at four. And back and forth we go at Prasco Park. Board. Milches with just eight runs batted in on the season, but more potentially coming as Del Castillo steals one in left. What a catch. They go back to first for a long double play. Momentum shifter. What an incredible gem by Del Castillo in left. He just took one, maybe two runs off the board. The irony of not finding a... To his mentality. The payoff. Grover with a line drive into the right center. That drops for a base hit. Rounding third is Hood. Seton Hall's got the lead back. It's Steve Grover's world. The freshman with three RBI already. He keeps this up. He's going to be the tournament most outstanding player. Look at Grover on the 3-2 pitch. He's locked in. Sees a ball out over the heart of the plate. Drives it right into center field. And great base running from Connor Hood. How much do you think this is the ballpark as well? Players arrive here. They see that there's an opportunity to really today. It has been for Seton Hall. Five runs and four and a third. Toke with the drive out to left. Upton going back. He watches it sail over the wall. Oppo uh, Taco for Toke. 7 4 Pirates. And now this game has opened up a little bit. Matt Toke. These gents should be kissing the bat. Send it down the line. Matt Toke in the dog pile. It's a Royal Rumble in there and just tries to do with it what he can. Oh, what a play by Hovey! Rob Shedler McAvoy of a hit and Seton Hall of another run. He's been solid over there. Earlier in the game, Superman dive on a ball on the ground, now a Superman dive on a line drive. Great play in the hot corner. Nothing too hot for Jordan Hovey. 
1-1 is driven out to right field. Robertson back towards the wall. He can't make the play. Villa scores. Del Castillo into second. Seton Hall. The lead is four for the Pirates because number four delivered. That's a tough play to make out there for Robertson, but you know, we talk about Creighton playing in a huge stadium and the outfield is so vast at TD Ameritrade. They're not used to playing up against the wall so frequently, John. And it looked like Bob Robertson was a bit hesitant here. Great piece of hitting from Del Castillo. A little bit out ahead of it, drives it right down the line, 320. And he thought the wall was a little bit closer than it was. Spend the first two months of your season on the road when you play in the Big East. That 1-1 one, one is drilled. Shedler McAvoy watching it fly over the wall. David Vilches gives Creighton a spark. The sophomore with his third home run of the year. Well, we, would, we knew it wouldn't be easy for Blake Espinall to come back out here after a 45-minute rain delay, but look at that launch angle. He was swinging for the fence right there. See you later. That is well over 415 feet. To give him a chance. Upton drives one into the right center field gap. Shedler McAvoy, it's gone! Parker Upton cuts the lead to one! Wow! A two home run inning. <laughs> you think that dugout's pumped up? How about these Creighton Blue Jays? Flying right back into this ball game. Look at the eyes. The eyes got real wide. He said, I like that one. He Beautiful extended. swing. <laughs> Took out the seven iron and let it fly. Is next. If it gets to him. Wagner's walked three times today. The 2 1. A line drive, base hit into center. Robertson scores. Struts ties the game. Creighton has come all the way back. And we're even at nine. Madness at Prasco. Jared Wagner had been on base three previous times today, but that was his first base hit. The rest have been walks. He drives in two. New ball game here in the bottom of the ninth. 2-2. Two -two. Bouncing ball. Toe can't field it. Rounding third, Wagner. The Creighton comeback's complete. Blue Jay madness. Unbelievable.